the word. Okay. So, uh, oh, snap. So, I am going to read the Bible. I might have to read a little bit faster, but it's okay. So, I'm going to just start off where we left off. I'm going to have to start over. Okay. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Say to the Israelites of all the animals that live on the land, These are the ones you may eat. You may eat any animal that has a split hoof, completely divided, and that chews on cud. That chews the cud. There are some that only chew the cud or only have a split hoof, but you must not eat them. Not eat them. Okay. Um. Where was, okay. The camel, though it chews the cud, does not have a split hoof. It is a ceremonial, ceremonial, unclean for you. The coney, I don't know, though it chews the cud, does not have a split hoof. It is unclean for you. The rabbit, though it chews the cud, does not have a split for hoof for you. It is unclean for you. And the pig, though it has a split hoof, completely divided, does not chew the cud. It is unclean for you. You must not eat their meat or touch their carcasses. Carcasses. They are clean. They are unclean for you. Of all creatures living in the water or of the seas and the streams, you may eat any that have have fins and scales. But all creatures in the stream, in the seas or streams that do not have fins or scales. Where they're among all the swarming um, things, among all the other living creatures in the water, you are to detest. And since you are to detest them, you must not eat their meat, and you must not detest their carcasses. Anything living in the water that does not have fins and scales is to be detestable to you. Meaning, you cannot eat it. Okay. These are the birds you are to detest and not eat because they are detestable. The eagle... The vulture, the black vulture, the red kite, and any of black kite, any kind of raven, the horned owl, the, the screech owl, the gull, and any kind of hawk, the little owl, the